all of the traffic lights across our state going is not an easy job. No, Marty's at the State Highway Traffic Light Stop learning everything that goes into it. Hey, Marty. Well, hey guys, again, uh, good morning and good morning, everyone. Again, how, how are you? Hopefully, quite well. Cedric and Antonio join us again. We need to make sure that we're crystal clear. This is the, for all of the state roads. Counties, counties have their own signal crews. Correct. But this is for state roads. About how many signals? 3,800 devices. Statewide. Statewide. Now, when we're talking devices, Antonio, when you pull up, you're, you're driving to the store this afternoon, you see these silver boxes at the intersection. That's them. That's what's that's, inside. That's it. Yes, sir. That's it. They can be programmed to each individual intersection. Yes. I take it because how many times we have all of us sat there and said, come on, you stupid light, change. But this is really well thought out. So everything, the controller is the brain of everything. So all the timing's done there. So we do cycles where it's, um, you get so many seconds per red, yellow, and green. So it's set that way that we don't, it's, it's, it's uh, preset, let's say. I get, so, I, I so, get it. Yeah. But Cedric, I mean, a lot, of, a lot of research goes to this. How do you keep traffic flowing on Baltimore National Pike, let's say? I mean, it's not an easy thing. No, so we, we have a, the signal shop is supported by engineers who collect data and they work together uh, to, to update the, pl the plans. And we actually been using a lot more technology uh, on infra in our infrastructure to detect vehicles to make those changes automatically. But where the rubber meets the road, these guys come into play. Something happens this box, you got to go out and you got to fix it, change it out. Somebody hits it, and, and I'm amazed how many of these are hit. A, a week, a month, a year. You said in the back there's a graveyard of these boxes. They look like yeah. smashed soda cans. Yeah, twisted soda cans are out back. Um, they crazy. Yeah, um, they get hit almost once a week at least. And th that is that is unbelievable. And these things aren't cheap. We're talking fifteen, twenty thousand dollars. That's correct. Crap, it's crazy. Okay, I got to show you guys something. Besides the street, this, that's a real street light. That's real. You know, walk, don't walk. These things are huge in person. But come on, Antonio, come over here real quick. You see this right down here? That is on the pole. You know how you can push it to get the light to change? And I always thought it was a joke. They're just trying to appease us. Right. You're telling me that we've only got 10 seconds. That actually works? That actually is, is there doing a... Wow. It actually serves a purpose. Can you imagine that? All right, we'll have more from... From the uh, the sign the 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 signal shop the signal shop which is next to the sign shop right after this. <laughs> 